Hey guys, welcome to another video of um, tutorials for Archicad. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to import drawings of DWG or DXF or uh, DWF drawings you'd make in Archicad and how to import them. Um, you can use this window in case you want to bring it onto your 3D window, but I'll I like to use my 2D window, so I made a worksheet. You can just right click here and uh, open a new worksheet, which I have here. Um, so we come here to File and come to File Special, click Merge. Um, then it's going to open for you a window for things that are in your saved in your computer. Um, I have maps. Kampala maps, different types that are saved in DWG. So I can click any of these and open it and it will come as a line drawing. So here it's asking me if I want it put on my current view or if I want it put in my layout books. Uh, I want it in my current view, which is in my worksheet. So I press OK. And then it will just bring how it's coming in scaled and it's edit editable and things like that. OK. So I merge. Um, these Kampala maps sometimes are really big, so I like to work on a 2D window so that I can only crop out the exact thing I want. So click again, um, select all, and then it will start loading. Um, let's give it some time, it takes a while to load. And so when it's done loading, sometimes you can't find it because it's really big. So it's somewhere in the window. So you can press this button, which means fit to window, fit in window. And you can see it's somewhere far here, but it's that small because there's something hidden somewhere by the person who, who, who drew it. So I press this button, which is to zoom in. So I'm going to do this and then just make a small box here. And it will bring me closer to it. I can do that again. So you see, they bring you a line drawing. So sometimes it comes grouped, so you need to have your control box on so that you can, you know, ungroup it so that you can click on individual things and so that you can scale it, which goes on to my next point. Usually there's a scale uh, provided for you. You can see it's to every 100 meters and it came on a scale of 1 to 1. So if you want to scale it, we're going to press Control A. Again, make sure it's ungrouped because if it's grouped, then it won't work. And some things won't get scaled. So ungroup them. Um, not ungroup them, but just press this so that they can work as individuals but still stay in their group. We're going to Control A, which selects everything, or Command A. Um, then we're going to say Command K or Control K, depending on what you're using. This will come. Make sure they're all ticked because then it it scales everything at a go. And then we look for this one point. Click it here. You can see it's it's saying 100 millimeters, and it wanted to be 100 meters. So you click on that point, and then release your mouse, and type in 100 meters so one that's one hundred thousand millimeters and there you go so now it is scaled to your drawing of one to a hundred and then you can click on fit to window um, you can either click on fit to window I think the um, the shortcut is control um, apostrophe Yes, yeah, so you can bring in your drawings from whatever program you're using, your line drawings, and uh, and that's it.